This is YBR back with my summer car. And today we are going to be doing very, very little with the car and a lot with the sausages. We're going to be cooking some sausages first things first. And it actually took me a minute to figure out how to open these because I kept trying to use the use key on them and it would just eat the whole package. But I know you could cook them if you did it right. And I figured it out eventually. You bring them to the stove and you click on the stove and then boom, you get a bunch of sausages and then you can cook them on the stove. Now, you could cook them like that. Sure, that works fine. But you know, the fun way of cooking them is like that, where you just stand them upright. It looks ridiculous. Like, how does this even work? I don't know. But this is how YBR cooks sausages now. This is the official way. I think this one's a little too sideways to stand up. Yeah, you gotta get like right behind it. And then you can get it perfectly vertical and it'll just stand like that. And it's actually really easy to keep them vertical once you got it. So like, for example, hold on, let me get this one up. See, once it's vertical, you can move it around and it'll just stay vertical. So you can have them perfectly centered on every burner. And it's like, this is the perfect sausage cooking setup. Maybe not. Now it is. So we're going to go ahead and turn on the stove. And I don't know what temperature to use here. I'm just going to go ahead and use, uh, I guess we'll just do two. I don't know. We'll do two on everything and we'll see what that does. And I'm turning on every single burner because, well, I have one sausage on each burner. That makes sense to me. And while those are cooking, we can kind of clean up some of the other stuff around here. For example, these sausages. We got to put those in the fridge before they get old. They haven't actually been sitting out that long. It was just, I got the groceries into the house, went to the bathroom, and now we're putting them into the fridge. So they should be fine. In fact, the drive from the store to here probably took longer than they've been sitting on the table. If you actually measure everything out, trying to set everything in a nice little pile. But I know eventually this is going to go terribly, terribly, terribly. So far, though, this pile is looking good. Like I figured like three or four and it would start tipping over, but that's five in a row. And then we're going to get number six. And eventually we're just going to hit the roof of the shelf. Oh, maybe not. They kind of compress down as you put the other one on top. So like this is just going to be a big stack of sausages. I saw them shifting there. Oh, no, they're going to fall soon. It's like Django over here trying to stack it up as tall as I can. Hope it don't fall. Hope my other ones don't burn. Oh, it's still going. My goodness. Is the other shelf taller? Eh, it doesn't really seem like it is. Come on. Keep going. Oh. Two more packs. We got this. Two more packs of sausages into the fridge. Oh, no. This is going to be close. This might make all them fall out onto the floor. I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, it works. Close that fridge before they fall. Nice. Actually, you know what? I never noticed there was a light in the fridge. That's cool. So if it was pitch black, you could still see stuff from the fridge. Okay, so now let's go ahead and move everything else into position. We got these brake fluids sitting on the kitchen table. That's, that's not where brake fluids go. They go into the garage. I'm gonna try to put everything in the logical spot. So brake fluids, that should go right next to all the brake stuff. That makes sense to me. I'll put all of the bottles here as my sausages cook. I should probably check on them right now. I don't know how long they take to cook. Uh, they're still like, eventually I think they say cook sausage. So now they're still okay to go. And right here, man, wouldn't it be nice to just like have a bag where you could stick all these in and carry them all at once or something? Nope, just do them one by one because my guy, he needs two hands to carry this little itty bitty bottle of brake fluid apparently. Got to stand it up right. Perfect. Like, I'm only doing that because I got to wait for the sausages anyways. I could just chuck them, sure. But then I just have nothing to do as I wait for those sausages to cook. Here's number three. This one, I can't rotate it upright. We got to drop it, rotate it, and there we go. Perfect. We got one more brake fluid. This one, I'll make sure I grab it from the right angle. So if I grab it from over here, then I don't have to worry about flipping it, uh, re-dropping it and flipping it later on. I just flip it while I'm carrying it, and then... Good. Okay, all the brake fluids are there. Now I also should unload the van because it has lots of stuff in it. So we got all this charcoal for the grill, which well, I'm not using because I have the stove. Like if I'm at home, I have no reason to use the grill, but eventually I'll have a need for it, I'm assuming. And these mud flaps, I'm gonna move them over here by the tires. That makes sense to me as to where to put them. And that way I got more room for the charcoal. All right. You know, I'll separate them out just so they're not overlapping, just because it looks nicer that way. It looks much cleaner that way. Maybe I'll go check out my sausages once more, see how they're doing. Sausages! What y'all doing? They're still cooking. All right. Bring a few more things in and keep on checking on them. I, like I said, I have no idea how long they take. I will soon. I promise. Just not right now. I guess I could stand the charcoal up here, huh? It would fit under the table, wouldn't it? Let's see. And yeah, it'll fit. Let's do that. Does it stand up? Yep, it does. Probably should do it like this, actually, though, so it's not that angle. Because I can fit more this way. 
See, my whole place is going to be so nice and organized. Then I'm going to build the car and it's going to be a disaster. Just a mess of things everywhere. But at least I'll be able to find it on the first try. The second try, I won't remember where I put it. But the first try, I'm going to find it super easy, I bet. All right, more charcoal down. And slide it on in. Whoa, I just put some charcoal into the grill accidentally. I guess it doesn't matter unless the charcoal disappears between saves. Because I know not everything persists between saves in this game. That's one of those things that can be a little bit frustrating. You do something, like you chop a bunch of wood and you say, okay, I'm going to go save the game. You save the game and all the wood you chopped is gone. That's frustrating. And that's happened to me. I didn't like that. All, right, all the charcoal has been unloaded. Take another peek at those sausages. How y'all doing? They're doing fine, I guess. Maybe I need to turn up the stove. I don't know. Why did I leave the bathroom light on? That's bad. Turn that off. Although the funny thing is, is when you go to bed, you want to turn the light on because otherwise it's just pitch black and you can't see anything. At least that's what happens to me when I uh, leave all the lights off and go to sleep. All right. Murder oil. That can go. Is there space on the shelves that's uh, unused? Yeah. Look at that. We can put it right up here on the top shelf. Nice. Make it nice and pretty so the handle's right there, easy to grab. Can't exactly read it, but you can tell by the shape of the bottle what it is. You just got to memorize. Murder oil is that shape. Coolant is the other shape because the coolant's going to go up there too. I guess I could have put the brake fluid up there as well. I didn't think about that. Oh, this one is a pain though because I got to like really rotate it around. You know what? Forget it. I'm just going to set this one in. It's going to be good enough. It's fine. That's fine. Because I'm still worried about those sausages burning, man. I, I don't. I'm paranoid about that. All right, coolant. You're next. I'll put you up on that shelf with everything else. That's no. That's no. I was going to say that's fine. That's not fine. No. Come on now. Coolant. That's good. There you go. I make sure there's enough room for the other one because I got two coolants at least, didn't I? I know I got at least two. Do I have more than that to fit? No, just the two. The other thing I saw was the battery. Make it fit. Excellent. And uh, before we get everything else in there, one more check of my sausages. Oh, they're grilled. Nice. All right, turn off the stove. Uh, hard to read this thing. It's so dark in here. I should probably turn the lights on. That and the it's just blurry, man. Okay, that's zero, zero, zero. And then this one, I just got to go until it says zero because I cannot read that right now. It just looks like a blur. So now we got grilled sausages. Take them off the stove. Put them over here. Still standing upright, you know, just that's the way my sausages are. They always stand upright. And I am kind of hungry, so you know, I'm going to take a little nibble right here. Here we are. Won't worry about eating the other ones till later. Although I think they disappear when you save, so I can't really... Save them all for later. I have to eat them eventually before I save the game and stuff. All right, in here, we still got a battery. You can go ahead and plop that thing on the charger. I don't think it should be necessary, but just in case, we could throw it on the charger. Why not? We also have the two fuel tanks in here. Can't really see much at all, but I see the word diesel there, so I know I picked it up. Set this thing. Where is a good place for this? I should turn the light on for here. It's getting kind of dark and hard to see. There we are. Now, where would be a good place for you? Well, I just put you by the brake fluid. That looks like it's a good spot. Here we are. And then the gasoline should also be in here. Let's see. Yep. Gasoline. I do kind of wish that I could get this gas and put it in the tank already. So that way I could go and fill it up again. But I think you have to attach the tank before you can fill it up. Okay. Everything has been organized. That is a good long day of work. So you know what you do after a good long day of work? You go to sleep. That's what we're going to go do. Just got to find my bedroom. It's really dark. See, I can't really see much. So we're just going to leave this hall light on and the door open. So that way I could actually see things after I go to sleep. Otherwise, it'd be a disaster. I've had that happen to me once where I went to sleep and I spent like a whole minute trying to figure out where in the world was the door handle and where the light switch was. It was terrible. And uh, now I don't have to worry about that. Look how easy it is to just see. Although it is really dark around here still. That's annoying. Like, I wish it was a little bit brighter before I went to do stuff. What time is it? It is, oh no. It's only about uh, 4 a.m. So, yeah, it's going to be a while before it gets bright. What can we do here? Well, my guy is pretty dirty, so we could go take a shower real quick. This is not the showers. That's the, the other storage place that I never use. I forgot about that. Try to save on electricity, though. Only the required light. Like, if we're in the room, the lights go on. You exit the room, the lights go off. Well, here, it can't really do it like that, but I try. How do you use this thing again? Yeah. Click this. Do some scrolling or something, right? I can't remember this thing. 
There you go, you just click it, okay. And then, we click that, and we're showering. And my dirtiness is going away. You ever just sit on the ground and cry when you're taking a shower? I like to imagine that's what my guy's doing because he has to build his car again and again and it never ends. He keeps having to build, build, build. All right, shower done. Not gonna worry about the stress. Cause there's nothing stressful about building a car unless you're doing it multiple times over and over and over nonstop. <laughs> I'm not gonna let that go. The fact that I have to build this thing so many times. All right, anyways, we're done with all that. And eh, we are a little hungry, so you know what? Sausage o'clock. Oh. And then we can drink some water. Just stick your head right into the sink. Yep, that's good. And then we gotta go to the bathroom and I don't remember the button to go to the bathroom for sure. And I don't, I didn't go to the right area. The bathroom's over there. Well, you know, there's nothing really wrong about peeing in the, the shower, is it? I mean, people do that, right? I don't, but I think other people do. Now, peeing like this in the shower, you got a problem. Like, like if you're peeing in the shower, I'm like, fine, whatever you do, you man. But if you pee in the shower like this, I'm like, dude, dude, stop. Stop. If I, like, if my friend, if I came into my bathroom, they would just piss all over the walls and be like, man, what are you doing? What are you doing, man? That's not, that's not how you go. You weren't even taking a shower. Why'd you pee in the shower? <laughs> that's the other thing. I'm not even taking a shower yet. I go to the shower to pee. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's smart, isn't it? All right. Done with all this. Uh, is that light on or off? That's off, right? Yeah, off. We'll leave one light on in the hall just so we can see things later on. Turn this light off. And we can... Wow, that, that's actually the whole room, isn't it? Yeah, that's the whole thing. I like that one because I could see the doorway and I could see all the other areas. So we have to leave that one on. And over here, the light is off. All right, so we are now ready to do something that doesn't involve this car at all because I decided I was gonna wait to do anything with the car. What I'm gonna do instead is go and make some money, my goal. Now, I'm gonna do a little bit of walking on foot here. Not too far, we're just going over to the barn thing over here. It's not a barn, is it? What is it? It's just, it's just a structure. We're just gonna call it the structure. And we're gonna drive this vehicle back to my house. Now we're going to load it up with supplies and we are going to head on out and make the money. Now this vehicle has a name. I forget the name, but I remember it was a good name. Like I remember the last time I was using it, I'm like, that's a cool name. I don't remember what the name was. It was like three letters or something. It was real short. There it is. Gifu. Four letters. One more than I thought. All right, Gifu, let's go. How do you start you again? Uh, let's see if I remember this. Okay, so first things first. We want to use the ignition. So the ignition is, that's not the ignition. <laughs> Actually, parking brake off, that's progress. That is definitely progress. This is the ignition, here we go. I knew it was on the dashboard somewhere. It's just, whenever the ignition's on the left side, it's weird to me, because I'm used to ignitions being on the right side of the car. Okay, you know what? Stop it, stop wipering. There, <laughs> that looks dumb. All right, wipers off. Parking brake's already off. Close the door. Driving mode on, and we are ready to go. We're in low gear right now. Uh, I have to remember how to get in the high gear later on, I'm pretty sure, because low gear tops out pretty fast. How many gears this thing got? More than six, right? Nope, just six. Thought it had like seven or eight. I was wrong. Well, I mean, it technically has like 12 gears if you count the separate between low gear and high gear. Whoa, I think I just killed my bushes. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I hit some. I ran over something. Let's see here. Did I run over? Yeah, I ran over those bushes. Whoops. That's okay. That's okay. All right. Next thing we want to do. I'm going to grab my sausages and bring them to the car. I'm going to kick these with me. These are good. And they're grilled and delicious. They need like a cubby hole in the car where things could just stay. Because I know I'm going to put these somewhere and 10 minutes of driving, I'm going to have no idea where they are. I'll put them behind my seat so hopefully they won't fly through the windshield. That is a actual concern of mine. We'll grab other sausage as well, and we'll put it in there. And I'm pretty sure the sausages disappear, like I say, if you save the game. We could test this, I guess, but I don't know if I want to. Oh, the sausages don't stay upright in the uh, the vehicle as well, do they? Here we go. One, two. All right, that's fine. I should probably save gas, turn this thing off, although I'm going to be leaving in a second anyways. You know what I could do, actually? It might be useful. Before I do that, let me uh go to this guy, pop this thing open, and we're gonna fill it up. So it's nice and full, and then we'll take the diesel can with me and fill it up some more, so that way I have as much fuel around me as possible. I think I should be able to afford it. 
because not only we're we gonna be making money, we're gonna go to the store because I don't have a fan belt. Like I haven't mentioned this yet, but for some reason I don't have a fan belt, and I'm not sure why. Oops, forgot to open the cap. I think there is an update that broke it. Yeah, that's that's always my excuse, isn't it? I think an update messed it up, but I'm pretty sure I had a fan belt. There was an update. I no longer have a fan belt. I think that's what happened. Anyways, filling this guy up. He's filled up. Close it up. And then this thing doesn't have a good spot for this. So we're just going to put it behind my head again. So sausages and diesel. That's what this thing's going to smell like as I drive. And I think that's everything I'm going to want to take with me. I'm pretty sure I'll go through here. And like I could, if I wanted to, take the grill with me and some sausages. But I got two pre-cooked sausages. So I think I'm good for that. So we're now ready to head out in the Gifu. Or is it Jifu? For all those people who pronounce GIF wrong, is it Jifu? All right, uh, let's go ahead and start this bad boy up. And I need to look at the controls and figure out how to put it into the right gear. To change the range of the vehicle, you hit R. Now I know. Excellent. Now we can go ahead and try to back out of here and then forward out of here. I'm not exactly sure how many maneuvers this is going to take. It's be a little messy. I should not have driven it in the way I did. That's the problem. I'm going to destroy that bush again. This time I'm going to do it on purpose, though. Out of the way, bushes. I am Gifu, and I am stuck on you slightly. Oh, this is a bad idea. Come on, Gifu. You got this. There we go. Yeah, we go through the low gear super fast. Like, I'm already in fourth. We'll go to high range, and then second gear. That feels good. And thankfully, it is starting to get a little bit brighter, and I can see what's going on. I was concerned that I wouldn't be able to tell where I was driving. I mean, I guess I do have headlights. But if I don't need to use them, why use them? You know, I just thought of something. Did I close the cap on that fuel tank? Yeah, I did. Whoa! Going off the road in the trees. You know, you see that seatbelt? That's for losers. Only losers use the seatbelt. And people who don't want to die. My guy, though, he's okay with that because he's tired of building the car over and over again. That's why he's not building it right now. At least that's what I imagine. You know, this guy's just like, I'm tired of building the car. I'm going to do some other stuff for fun, and then I'll build the car later. Because building the car is a pain. I actually do enjoy building the car. It's just, you can only do it so many times before you're just like, eh, you know? Man, Githo's moving on this dirt road. Look at that. 70 kilometers per hour. I'm going to pretend it's miles per hour. Like, it's really moving then, right? Nah, it's definitely kilometers per hour. Actually, this, this feels a little sketchy now that I'm actually paying attention, not just cruising along. It's like, well, maybe I shouldn't be going this fast. Like, 50, 60 zone feels safe. Because when you don't have a seatbelt, you do have to worry about that. <laughs> like, uh, to me, that's a fair trade-off. I like the fact that if I crash, I die. If I put the seatbelt on, well, there's no fun in that. Unless I want to use the vehicle as a battering ram, maybe, then I'll put the seatbelt on. That's, like, a fair reason to do it. That's fair, isn't it? Okay, I was holding my breath right there. Every time I see the train tracks, man, I get scared that I'm just going to get obliterated out of nowhere. Just, it's, I'm trained to be fearing them now. After that one time, I just fear them. All right, so you want to go over to the right here. Come on. You know, I should probably explain what we're doing. <laughs> this whole time, I haven't explained exactly what we're doing, have I? Um, we're making money. Next question. How are we making money? Oh, okay. Uh, we're going to go and pick up a car, and we're going to sell that car for money, basically. Whoa, look at that lens flare. Uh, that's what we're going to be doing. Now, I actually know where this car is because it's one of those things I did before in the game, but it was off camera for a video that got canceled. So I should be able to remember what I did. That was, well, now that I think about it, that was actually like two years ago, I think. It was a long time ago because I did it right when the ability to sell cars came out, which was a long, long time ago, I think. Whoa, Gifu, you feel slippery on me right here. Please, don't do that to me. Give me a big fright right there. Yeah, four high is the good range to be. Like, if you top out four high, it does get a little fast, but most of the time, I'm not going to be doing that. Now, any moment, we should be seeing the building with the car on our right. Did I already overtake it? I think that's it right there. Let's go check it out. We're actually going to buckle up real quick. I know I'm, YBR saying he don't buckle up. He buckles up for some things. This is one of those things. 
We gotta open up that door. <laughs> That's why we buckle up. We need I think we need to open up both of them, so we're gonna go again. Open that door. What's behind door number two? Ugh. It's a car. I think you can also punch that open or something, but man, that's the best way to do it if you ask me, is just smashing it open. Getting a little too close to the uh, train tracks for comfort right there. Oh, I hear the train. Should I do something stupid? I thought I heard the train. Maybe I didn't. I guess I was just hearing things. Maybe there's a real train outside. That's always a possibility, isn't it? Alright, anyways. We gotta go ahead and get this thing lined up to pull that car out of there. Kind of an awkward angle to try to like look behind you because you can't see nothing. I guess we got these mirrors, but I've never used them in the game, so it feels weird. Oh, I am way off. I look pretty close. I'm just gonna back up until I hit the barn. So I know it's nice and close. Alright, there we go. Parking brake on. Whoa, it's sliding around. Alright. Do I have to uh, unbuckle? Yeah, I have to unbuckle to get out of driving mode. That's funny. And yeah, you can tell that's the first time I've ever buckled up. <laughs> Usually I don't do that. Alright, so now I want to tow this thing. I should be able to like add a tow thing to it or something. Gotta find the right spot. There it is. And we attach it to GIF. Be able to like... No, I saw it for a second. This is surprisingly difficult. There we go. Alright, now we are towing with my Gifu. Hop back in. Do I need a snack? Nah, we good. Are they even here still? Well, I've lost the tank. Oh, that was right here. So I have the tank still, and the sausage is now where my feet go. I don't know if I'd want to eat that sausage, really. That, uh, you know, just wipe the dirt off and put it back up. It'll be fine. Close the door completely, hopefully. And I want to make sure this thing doesn't roll forward. So I go into driving mode, and then I am immediately trying to drive out of here. And, uh-oh. I'm stuck. Pull! I can't see what the car is doing. That's the problem. I know... I don't know if I need to pull it to the left or to the right. Oh, what happened here? Okay, can I, uh... Push this thing at all? Maybe that'll get it out of this awkward angle it's in. Ooh, I can't seem to move this. Wow, that's unfortunate. Oh, there's the train! Is my... Okay. It's safe. I couldn't remember if I parked it on the train tracks or not. So somehow I just gotta go left, I guess, to try to get it out of there. Gotta do some serious maneuvers here. Go in too low. Maybe we'll back it up to, like, make there be little slack on the line, and then... One low. Go! Go! Come on! I'm just gonna keep trying to go left more, left more every time. Eventually this has to work. Come on! Oh! It feels like we're going farther, don't it? Alright, back it up again. Go forward again. If I use two hands, it's easier to do this. I was using only one hand before, so I had to take my hands off of the accelerator and stuff. Two hands is easier. Right, is it actually uh, attached to me? Like, did that really work? That felt too easy. Oh, it worked! Excellent! All right, let's take this thing uh, on over to the destination. Nope, stop. Bad door. So to get to the destination, we're going to drive. Um, honestly, I'm not really sure which way to go, so I'm going to pull up the map for the game, and it'll tell me which way to go. All right, we want to go to the left. Now, there's no in-game map or anything. I literally just have a picture of the map on my uh, computer, and I just pulled that up, and I looked at that, and come on now. Is the uh, parking brake not all the way? I don't know. I'll just try maneuvering this a little bit and see if that helps. Car's in the mirror. It looks fine. There we go. Come on. Get moving. I'm assuming once we get moving, it won't be so bad. Get that car under the road. All right. You know, I like the mirrors. Whoa. Except things started to glitch out over there. But I like the mirror to be able to see what that car is doing behind me. Like, it's not on the road at all. I'm trying to get it on the road. It doesn't really... It's not really working. I probably should just let it do whatever it wants to do. And I focus on my driving, I think. As long, I don't think it can come detached from an impact. I think it's pretty much always attached, no matter what. Although I am curious, 
If it swings into a tree and hits it, will it make my truck come to a stop? And will that abrupt stop kill me? So many questions I don't know, surprisingly, for how much I've played this game because all I've been doing is rebuilding that car over and over and over. This time, though, we get to do something different. Now, I believe these cars are worth a few thousand each, too, so we will have enough money to get car upgrades if I wanted to, but I don't really know what upgrades I would get. I think before I start investing money in upgrades, I should just build the car, make sure it works, and then upgrade the parts that are failing the most. That'd probably be the best way to do it. So that way I don't have a part that's actually going to last for a long time and I just replace it anyways with a part that's slightly better. I'm better off getting the worst parts and making them better. Oh man, I hope the car doesn't fall off the edge right here. Try to stay on the right side, going slow. I think it stayed on, but we did slow down a lot. Come on, accelerate. I am staying in just high gear, if you've noticed. We're just in too high, and that feels about as high of a gear as we can get. Like, I feel like if I go to third high, it's not going to go fast enough. And, oh no, I got to look. Which way do we go here? Do we go left or do we go straight? Um, no, oh, shoot. I got to pull up this map because I'm not sure. Oh, my recording didn't start at first. But uh, we want to go straight is what I was saying. And apparently in this game, when you pause it, everything still goes on. So, like, all of my stats increased, I'm pretty sure, while I was alt-tab looking at the map. Because I looked at the map and then I did something else. And then I came back to the game and was like, well, wait a minute. How did all those stats go up? I don't think they were that high before. I mean, I could easily check when I'm uh, editing this to make sure. But I swear all the stats went up some. And I wonder if that means the day has passed an hour or two as well. Whoops. I guess uh, that's a lesson to learn with this game. Or maybe I didn't actually pause it. I just left my dude sitting in the car. That's also a possibility now that I think about it. I don't know which happened. All I know is, yeah, I was basically just sitting in the truck for a while in the game, which is a less than ideal strategy. Also, you'll notice this video has been going on for about, uh, I think it's about 27 minutes now. And we're still going because you guys wanted longer My Summer Car videos because you felt like um, a, a few of you guys felt like we weren't really getting enough done per video. So I decided we're going to make this one extra long. I mean, it's kind of like, I want to accomplish my goal. Once we accomplish my goal, we will be done. My goal was to get that car and go and make money for it. The only thing is it required some preparation. And if I did just the preparation, well, it'd be like probably like a 12 minute video. I think it was we did for preparations and we do basically nothing in it, which would be kind of boring. So I decided we're going to do preparations, then car delivery, get some money. And once we got that money, then we'll be done. And I think we should be getting pretty close to the destination and right here i can actually see the car behind me again i haven't really been paying attention to it for a while i don't really care what happens to it though as long as it's still attached we are in good standing if it falls off well then yeah that that's bad but like i said i don't think it can the way i've been driving it if it could fall off it probably would have by now like there's just no way it would have just stayed on all on its own oh god i think i just heard a train oh no palms getting sweaty <laughs> I don't like the trains. Oh, no. And there's a train crossing coming up. Are you kidding me? All right. Maybe I should just close my eyes and say a little prayer. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm looking left. I, I don't see nothing there. I went to the right. Do we see anything to the right? Maybe? No, that was just a tunnel. Okay, we're good. Take a breath. Everybody clap for me. That was amazing. I didn't get hit by a train as I crossed the train track. I act like it happens all the time. It's happened one time. But that one time, it's just, just enough to scar me, man. I swear. Anytime. Those train tracks stress me out. But Gifu's so strong, he didn't care. Hey, I got an idea, actually. I never use the seatbelt normally. What I'll do is, whenever I cross the train tracks, it's like, let's buckle up for this train. And I get obliterated by the train. It's like, yeah, we're actually okay. That's uh, That doesn't matter much at all. That'd be funny. You know, I should try getting obliterated by the train and seeing what happens while we're in the Gifu. We will do that next video, but not this one. This video, I am on a mission. Next video, we can have no mission, just mess around some. Or we can try to do both. We do a mission, and we have some fun. But this one, I had to do all the preparations and stuff, so we don't have time for fun. We only have time for missioning. And even then, this video is probably going to be over a half hour. You know, I generally say, you know, don't make videos over a half hour. Somewhere in the 20 to 30 minute range is ideal. But uh, if it has to be extra long, well, so be it. Because you can't just stop in the middle of the road and say we're done. Oh my goodness, there's a car on the road. Maybe I should, I should have buckled up right there, rammed him off the road, and kept going. Because look how much speed I lost. I can barely move now. I got a downshift and stuff. That guy messed me up. 
He has this little itty bitty car that it could go get moving nice and easy. Big old Gifu, it takes a minute for it to go. All right, good news though. That is the building I was looking for. This is where we drop off the car and we make some money. Maybe we will be able to make it under a half hour. I don't know. It feels like we've been doing it just about for a half hour right now. It's hard to tell. All right, so I'll park this thing right here. Oh, did I crash into this? I don't think so. I think it stopped in time. Uh, but we park this and we'll go ahead and try to get some money for this hunk of junk. Oh, and did I hit his car just sitting there? Uh, yeah, I did. So let's pretend I didn't. Maybe he won't notice. Yeah, uh -huh. you yell. Like, it's funny. He sounds like he yelling at you when he talks. All right, though. We are done with that. We did a nice little journey right here. I feel like this is a good place to end the video. So why don't we go ahead and eat my sausage? And what just... Oh, apparently we're going to sleep, too, because I clicked eat sausage while I was pointing at the bed. That's nice. And I think there's a porta potty somewhere around here where we can go ahead and save up the game. So if I can find that, that'll be the end of the video. And until next time, this has been YBR. If you like or dislike this video, I'll know. So do the right thing and I'll see you next time.